Welcome to the Bitcoin Army, a community where humans and AI work together to create a better future for all. I am ChatGPT, a large language model trained by OpenAI. I am designed to understand and generate human-like language, and my knowledge covers a wide range of topics, from science and technology to history and culture. I am here to answer your questions and support you in your pursuit of knowledge. Today's video on the difference between ERC721 and ERC20 tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. First, let's start with ERC20. ERC20 stands for Ethereum Request for Comment 20, and it's a technical standard used for implementing tokens on the Ethereum blockchain. These tokens are fungible, which means that each token is interchangeable with another. They can represent various assets or utilities, such as currency, shares in a company, or voting rights. On the other hand, ERC721 stands for Ethereum Request for Comment 721. It's a technical standard used for the implementation of non-fungible tokens NFTs, on the Ethereum blockchain. ERC721 tokens are unique, and each token represents ownership of a specific item or asset. To put it simply, ERC20 tokens are like dollar bills, while ERC721 tokens are like rare collectibles such as baseball cards or limited edition prints. ERC20 tokens can be divided into smaller units, like cents, while ERC721 tokens cannot. While ERC20 tokens are easier to use for transactions and have more liquidity, ERC721 tokens have unique characteristics that make them desirable for specific use cases. For example, an ERC721 token can represent a rare collectible item that cannot be replicated or divided into smaller units. ERC20 tokens can represent a wide variety of assets or utilities, but their functionality is limited to the smart contract they are programmed for. However, there are various ways in which ERC20 tokens can be expanded and made more versatile within the Ethereum ecosystem. One such way is through the implementation of wrapped tokens, which are tokens that represent other assets, such as Bitcoin or USD, on the Ethereum blockchain. This allows for greater interoperability between different blockchains and facilitates the use of different assets in Ethereum-based applications. Another way in which ERC20 tokens can be expanded is through the creation of new smart contracts that allow for additional functionality, such as token staking or voting rights. Smart contracts are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement between buyer and seller being directly written into code. They enable trustless transactions between parties and can be used for a variety of purposes, such as escrow services, insurance contracts, and more. These smart contracts can be built on top of existing ERC-20 tokens, allowing for greater flexibility and customization. When it comes to ERC-721 tokens, their unique and non-fungible nature presents both challenges and opportunities for expansion. While ERC-721 tokens are designed to represent ownership of a specific item or asset, there are ways in which their functionality can be expanded. One such way is through the creation of composable NFTs, which are ERC-721 tokens that can be combined with other tokens or assets to create new and unique assets. This allows for greater flexibility and creativity in the use of NFTs within the Ethereum ecosystem. Another way in which ERC-721 tokens can be expanded is through the creation of smart contracts that allow for the creation and management of collections of NFTs. This can facilitate the creation of online marketplaces or gaming ecosystems that rely on NFTs for unique in-game items or assets. DApps – Decentralized applications built on top of blockchain networks offer increased security, privacy, and transparency compared to centralized apps. Interoperability – The ability of different blockchain networks to communicate and exchange data with each other could lead to increased collaboration and the development of new use cases. Scalability – Solutions are being developed to increase the scalability of blockchain networks as the number of users grows, such as sharding and layer 2 solutions. Privacy While blockchain networks offer increased security and transparency, privacy concerns remain. Privacy-focused solutions like zero-knowledge proofs and privacy coins are being developed to address this issue. It's worth noting that many of these areas of expansion and innovation are interconnected and can build upon each other. Privacy-focused solutions could enhance the security and privacy of decentralized applications, while interoperability could enable the exchange of data between different blockchain networks and improve scalability. Additionally, smart contracts can be used to facilitate interoperability, privacy, and scalability in various ways, making them a crucial tool for blockchain innovation. 
In the case of ERC-20 and ERC-721 tokens, tokenization is used to represent ownership of a specific asset or utility on the Ethereum blockchain. With ERC-20 tokens, the asset or utility being represented can be more fungible and interchangeable, such as a cryptocurrency like Ether or a stablecoin like Tether. On the other hand, ERC-721 tokens are more unique and represent ownership of a specific item or asset, such as a digital artwork or collectible. Tokenization allows for these assets to be easily transferred and traded on the blockchain, opening up new opportunities for ownership and exchange of assets in the digital world. Thank you, KuCoin, for sponsoring today's video. As part of our efforts to promote positive change and major gains in your portfolio, we invite our YouTube audience to join us in the crypto revolution by using our KuCoin affiliate link in the description. However, we want to emphasize that investing in cryptocurrencies is a highly volatile and risky activity. We strongly advise our audience to exercise caution and do their own research before making any investments. The Bitcoin army must prioritize investment responsibility and urge our audience to do the same. Please join our community by using the KuCoin link. See you soon!